Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. Today is Monday, June 23rd, 2014. Thank you all for tuning in. Let's jump right into the charts. We're going to start off with the S&P 500 E-mini futures. We are now using the U contract. Okay, so the month of September is the new contract. Um, the M contract has gone by the wayside. That expired last week. We are now using the U contract. And what you're going to see here is that the futures are trading up a little bit by about a point to 1954 and a quarter. I don't know how much we can make out of it, but nonetheless, that is what we're looking at. Basically a flat market on Monday. We'll see if the light volume continues, which has been the theme recently, and that has helped keep the markets very, very buoyant. The Dow Jones Industrial Average, as you know, is just approaching the 17,000 level. So again, markets are still okay. Uh, the light volume definitely helps keep things to the upside, and that certainly is the case again this morning. Um, taking a look at a few things out here, though. Uh, the first off, we want to talk about Oracle buying the company. They're going to buy out, uh, looks like Oracle is making a $5 billion acquisition. They're going to buy out a company, MCRS uh, is the ticker symbol. And we'll punch that up there. Now, this stock is halted right now, so it's not really reflecting its gains. So, again, um, look for higher price. But that is the merger of the day today, at least at the moment. Oracle is going to buy microsystems um i believe it's for five billion dollars but i'm not 100 percent sure you can check out the news yourself there's also another merger taking place this morning it looks like uh ticker symbol teg uh maybe the teg there it is here we go integris energy they're getting bought out um by wisconsin so let's punch in that ticker symbol and you're going to see that is wec so there's another merger there Again, neither um, company would I jump on board um, due to the fact that Wisconsin here is the purchaser. I would watch for this to be a little bit on the downside. A, a point I do like Wisconsin would be around $41.70, $41.60. If it got down there, that would be a very, very good price. A level for Oracle today that I would look for um, really would be much, much lower um, down towards the $35 level. Gets down to $35. I think Oracle looks pretty decent. But um, other than that, I, I really wouldn't touch either one of them until they move lower. So remember, when they, the, the two companies or the companies that do the acquiring, their share price generally will go lower. Very rare do you see their share price go higher. It does happen from time to time. But um, Oracle, I would look at a lower price ahead, again, around the 35 level. And if you're going to take a look at... Um, Wisconsin today, which is WEC tick, ticker symbol, um, that's one I would look around $41.70. I have no idea if it will get down that low, but that's the only level that I would become interested in that stock. Next one we're going to look at today is Lululemon. Lululemon um, reportedly is gone, has gone to Goldman Sachs, and they're saying that they're going to put themselves up for sale. That seems to be the new theme lately. Um, if your stock is really a dog and, and, and has, has been trading uh, in poor fashion, you go to Goldman Sachs, you go to one of the investment bankers, say, hey, I want to be put up for sale, and you get a big pop. But the stock is already coming back down. Again, um, I don't really see anything great for Lululemon. Maybe the news will hold the stock buoyant today, but other than that, um, I don't really see anything great until it gets down to around $33. The stock goes down to 33 We love Lululemon, but not until then. So we're going to leave that one alone. But um, <clears throat> if you're trading Lululemon, you're getting a pop on this news. Try your stop loss. You never know what can happen. Let's take a look at Boeing. Boeing um, apparently was in the running for a um, defense missile contract, but I believe that the, uh, the missile didn't work or the system didn't work. So either way, the stock right now is trading at 132.46. Um, I'm looking at around 129.50. So traders that want to try Boeing here, 129.50, I'm showing a little bit more support around 128.90. Um, those are two levels intraday. You can look for a little bounce on Boeing. Other than that, I don't really see any strength whatsoever, so be very, very careful here. But you could get a couple of intraday bounces at around 129.50, maybe even 128.90. Both levels um, should be good for intraday bounces. Let's take a look at General Electric. It looks like they upped their bid for Alstrom. That's the French company. Um, they sweetened the pot a little bit. The stock right now is trading at $27 a share. It's basically where it closed on Friday. There's going to be some intraday support for um, General Electric around $26.36. So 
So keep that on the radar. There's also a lot of support around 24.75. So you got two levels there for intraday scalps. And all levels mentioned this morning in this video are simply just intraday scalp levels, meaning day trades that last between 10 and 30 minutes. Nothing more than that. Um, so we'll see how this GE plays out. But again, 20, $26.36, um, that could be a good level. $24.75. I think is an excellent level for GE. So keep that on the radar today and we'll see how that plays out. Let's move over right now to the gold market. <clears throat> gold has been one of the strongest equity classes over the past week. Um, if we take a look at uh, the GLD this morning, what you'll see here is that this is trading at around $126.59. I do think gold is a little bit overbought, but it's holding up very, very well. And with all the geopolitical events surrounding us, with all of the um, central bank barking, that they're going to do everything to keep the stock market higher. Um, gold is, has really outperformed over the past week. In fact, on uh, Wednesday, and, or Thursday I should say, gold really took off to the upside. So we're going to watch for pattern. I think there's very little upside in gold from this stage um, over the next week or so. But nonetheless, we're going to watch for pattern and see how it develops. Right now, spot gold is down $1.40 to $1,315 an ounce. But anyway, slice it or dice it, nothing terrible for gold today. Be more neutral than anything with it. Looking at the oil market this morning, you have Light Sweet Crude uh, trading down about $0.10 cents to $106.73 a barrel. Let's go to the USO, good proxy for trading Light Sweet Crude. And that's trading at $39.37. There's nothing really wrong with the chart. Now, I know a lot of people are talking about, you know, oil's going to plunge, and it, and it may, but it may be in due time. Right now, you still have a lot of the geopolitical events taking place in Iran, uh, excuse in, in Iraq, and uh, you have the problems in Russia, the Ukraine. There's just too many geopolitical events to see oil really take a tumble here. But nonetheless, um, give the USO the upside bias to around thirty-nine dollars and eighty cents, right around that level. That's where I really think uh, the USO will stall out. But spot crude is holding up very, very well at this time. All right, let's do a quick recap. You have S&P 500 E-mini futures trading higher by $1.25. I'm not sure how this market's going to play out today. It is a Monday. Mondays can go either way sometimes. The volume being light definitely helps the markets. But um, nonetheless, markets are uh, way overbought. We'll see if they do start to pull back a little bit. But uh, if, as long as the volume is, is light, it's hard to see much of a, of a big decline taking place in this type of environment. So we'll see where we go from there. Um, again, a couple of mergers out here. It looks like Oracle bought Microsystems. It looks like uh, Wisconsin made an, uh, a purchase as well. Those are really the only two big um, energy plays that I'm seeing, at least at the moment. Um, there are some other moves going on out here, but nothing that I'm seeing all that, that, that looks all that significant. So we'll see how it plays out. A little bit on a slower slide on Monday, and um, we'll see how, where this market goes. But with that said, everybody, have a great trading day. We'll see you on the charts.